Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I have what I hope is going to be an informative video for you today. And I'm doing this because I really haven't seen too many videos following up on this particular bag. So I thought that I would give you guys a look since this is something that's popular, still available, and a lot of people think about getting it. And I want to just kind of show what it looks like after two years in my collection and being a fairly well used bag and then stick around because when I'm finished I'm going to show you its little cousin which I have for sale so without going on anymore I have my Tory Burch soft Fleming oops <laughs> Tory Burch soft Fleming shoulder bag and this is in arugula I think that this is what it's called, but I just call it green. There's not much of a difference that I could see among the greens. Although this is, hopefully you could say it, this is really like a true green. It's a little bit deeper than a Kelly green, not quite a forest green. I wouldn't say that it's the color of arugula, but whatever, that's what they call it. So if you're not familiar with the soft Fleming, there's a lot of very Chanel-esque features to this bag. You can see that it's quilted. These are nice puffy quilts. You have a double strap, which can be converted to a single strap and warm crossbody. And you have the Tory Burch insignia here. And you can see that this is a smushy, smushy, smushy bag. And I did not store this stuff the last time that I used it. So you can see that there's a crease over there but once this is filled you're not going to see that let me show you I mean this is a soft bag and I don't really think that there's a reason to put structure into a soft bag but I probably could serve it better to put something inside but look once it's filled see how that it's just going to fill out so it's not anything that's permanent. I'm gonna bring that in a little bit closer. And you can see that these squares, they're gonna puff back out. Whoops. It's a little awkward to manage sometimes. So I bought this in August of 2020. So it's a little over two years old. I'm gonna take the dust bag out. I store all of my bags in their dust bag in my closet. And I store everything on the side this way because I really don't have the room to do displays, but I'm fine with that. So outside, to continue again, here are the four corners. And you can see that there's a seam at the base. The back me measures 10 inches lengthwise. It's about five inches deep and seven and a half inches high. So let's do the other corners here. And here's a close up look at the front, the underneath of the flap here along where the seam is, the side of the bag, whoops, the other side of the bag and then inside the flap. And there's no scratches anywhere. There's no scuffs anywhere. This has been really durable. You have these grommets here for the chain. So there's nothing really rubbing on the bag when the chain goes through. This sort of folds in, but this isn't connected. And then inside you have a back zipper pocket, not a flap, a center zipped divided, divided space, and then a front compartment. So it's got pretty good organization. Oh, and then you have a little flat pocket over here. It's got good organization. The back wall is like three quarters of the way down leather. And the center pocket is trimmed with leather. If you could see that. And then the back zipper here, there's leather below it for a little bit more you can see it goes down further and then the front is trimmed with leather also as is the pocket see here's the pocket here 
I don't see any chips anywhere on the chain. There's nothing going on with the glazing on the handles. I don't have any pop stitches. I don't have any tarnished hardware. And again, this is a bag that I use pretty often in the winter time. And I love to take this bag to the casino, believe it or not, because the organization in the bag makes it really easy to keep track of my things. You know, sometimes you're going in and out of your bag and you don't want to lose pieces of paper. But it's also a really good bag for work. It's a good bag for shopping. I mean, it's elegant enough to wear with dress, but you can dress it down and wear it casual with no trouble at all. So I really, really like this bag. The, the price on these has gone up pretty significantly. I bought mine on sale. I want to say it was somewhere around $375 or something like that. You can find some colors on sale sometimes. The seasonal colors often will go on sale. Sometimes they'll be cash back on Rakuten for Tory Birch. And sometimes if you look at your credit card offers, they also can offer money back on Tory Birch. So it is possible to get a really good deal with this bag. So I'm going to just stand up, move the camera back, and I'll show you what this looks like on me with the two straps and then as a crossbody. So there's a really significant drop, as you can see. I mean, you can wear a coat, you can put something really thick and it's not a problem. And then crossbody, actually this would be the longest length, leaving the strap here in the back. Crossbody, it's like this. So it's a really good crossbody length for me. And again, it's really, it's comfortable. It's not a very heavy leather bag. This definitely feels much lighter than the Coach Studio bag, which is, don't mind my umbrella, guys. It's been raining for days. It's much lighter than the Coach Studio bag. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it doesn't feel like you have a big weight on your shoulder. So I'm going to show you what fits. And believe me, it fits a really good bit. So I have my mini pochette. I'm gonna put that in the biggest compartment here. So that fits. I have my wallet. This is the Rosalie coin purse from Louis Vuitton. And I'm putting that in the back. I have keys and put the keys wherever. I have an Hermes notebook and I could put that in the center compartment so the pages don't get bent up. Put it down. Sorry guys, I need two hands to do some things. So there it is in the center compartment. And then I wanna put my nose spray because what can I say guys, I'm addicted. My nose gets really stuffed and I'm not going to wait for it to clear up on its own. So here it is with that stuff in it. And you can see that there is plenty of room for more. You could fold up a scarf. You could put a scarf on the top. You have room to put your sunnies. You have room to put a bunch of other things that you may need to carry. But this would be, you know, basically what I'd fill it up with. And then leave some room. You know, sometimes you go out and you're going to pick up some small things, you have room to just get it and, and put it in your bag and keep it with you. So I'm going to show you now the item that I have for sale, and that is the little cousin of this soft Fleming, and it is the soft Fleming clutch in black. I bought this and I never used it. I've had this for sale on Mercari for months and I'm going to tell you the price after but unfortunately I'm getting offers for this bag that are just really ridiculous um it originally was $365 now I did cut the tags off I did plan to use this so I threw the tags away but I actually got my Chanel 
case not long after I got this and I can't see the need of using and keeping two black clutch bags. So I decided that I would sell this bag. So the comments I've gotten are, well, why are you selling that? Well, first of all, I'm selling it because I want to sell it. Secondly, I don't know what the issue is, why it would make a difference as to whether someone would buy it or not. I mean, I clearly described that the bag is brand new and that there's no marks on it. I've gotten offers a hundred dollars and I'll take it right now. Um, I had one person tell me that my price wasn't good because this bag went on sale. And quite honestly, I did buy this on sale for $225 and that's not the asking price that I had put on Mercari. I was asked whether this was authentic and honestly for the price it wasn't worth having it authenticated because it, first of all, if you know the item, you know that it's real. And secondly, to spend the money for authentication and you know, I was, I'm including the shipping and I'm including whatever taxes, they're not being paid. You're just paying for the bag and I'm including the shipping in. So I'm going to offer it. If anybody wants to buy it, send me an email and let me know if you're really interested, but let me give you a little bit of measurement and some comparison and maybe that would help. First of all, let me pull this in up close so that you could see the bag is in brand new condition. It's never been used. I just pulled it out of its dust bag, which is also in brand new condition. So you can see it's still stiff. Here's the Tory Birch medallion. And let's open up the bag so you can see the inside. Now, like I said, I've never used it. I don't see any defects in this bag anywhere whatsoever. So that's what it looks like inside. There's no center divider. I'm going to take the stuffing out, give everybody a look at the inside. And here you go. Of course, it's quite dark. It has the zip pocket. There is no center compartment. This is a smaller bag than the shoulder bag. Here's the pocket. Here's the bottom of the bag. And again, this is brand new. I just cut the tags off. Unfortunately, I didn't keep them, but I do have my record from Tory Burch that it was bought. But anyway, I'm asking $180 that shipping and everything included. I'm going to stuff this back up. And when I do, I want to give everyone a look at what this looks like in comparison to the clutch, uh, the shoulder bag. So I want to try to keep this the way that it came because... That was the first unstuffing that I've done. So let's put everything back. Here's the snap, in case anyone's interested in, in the snap. So here's the closing mechanism. Hmm, I did take the sticker off. Looks like I took the sticker off, but again, I was planning to use this and there was an event that I was going to that I wanted to use this with, but what could I say? I got the Chanel and I figured there's no point in having another black clutch. So let me show you what this looks like in comparison to the shoulder bag. So it's not a huge difference, but definitely there's a difference. So I'm going to give the measurements so that you can see what the difference is. And again, the green bag is seven and a half inches tall. So let's get the tape measure and I'll measure 
for the dimensions of the clutch. Tiggy. He fell asleep. Right by my feet. So, it's about seven inches tall. Ten inches long. So it's the same length, it's just shorter. And the width on this is certainly much less. So at the widest point, this is, we'll call it one and a half inches. And let's do it by the side because that's really gonna give you the best idea. So corner to corner, it's two inches. So let's, let's, darn it. Let's call it a two inch width. So. And again, this is absolutely beautiful. It's very, very soft, very, very smushy and cushiony. It's been in its dust bag. It hasn't been handled and you can't attach a strap to this anywhere unless you just kind of loop something through and, you know, left it free, but then you run the risk of wearing out the corners and you know, this could probably get rubbed pretty badly, but I would imagine if you really wanted to, you could take it to a shoemaker and have D-rings attached to it for not so much money and then attach a strap at the top. You know, a good shoemaker is going to be able to do something like that and not harm the bag. So that's what I have for you guys today. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that it was informative. So Email me if you're interested in this little beauty and I will get back to you and I'll ship it as soon as possible. Thank you all so much. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all in my next video. I got a big surprise coming up Saturday. Not as good a surprise as when Yoda was here, but it's a surprise unboxing anyway. See you soon. Bye-bye.